citizens of the internet, and welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. If you're sick of Apple news, this is your counter-programming. I'm Ashley Skeba. <laughs> I'm Jeff Kanata. It is time for headlines. Stanford students are pioneering and showing off some impressive face mapping and imitation technology that is a little bit terrifying. This group has been working on an animation system that uses one person's face to animate the face of another human, and it's super creepy. The target person's face is scanned and made into an animated face, and then a source can sit down, get scanned, and control the animation's facial expressions and speech. They're able to manipulate videos in real time. And because the software can account for lighting in the target's original video, it looks incredibly realistic. The first thing I thought of when I looked at this, Ashley, is there is no more truth. No. You're going to have to really keep an eye on stuff, you guys. Anybody can be made to say anything now. How, what? We're actually animated right now. <laughs> Stanford is making this show. Yeah. The more vi Anytime you put yourself on video, good luck ever not saying the things you don't want to say. Exactly. Wow. It's really weird and, yeah, super creepy. <laughs> but I have a feeling it'll just be using, like, Snapchat or something, right? I it's like where know. the technology's going to end up. Hey, guys, if you weren't planning on having nightmares tonight, uh, you better think again because I'm about to introduce you to Sophia. Sophia is a robot from Hanson Robotics, and she recently attended South by Southwest to showcase her abilities. She has 62 facial and neck architectures and a patented skin called Frubber. And during a Q&A about her ambitions, she accidentally let this gem slip. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. That's probably a glitch, right guys? But just in case, we should keep a close eye on her. Hanson Robotics says they want to make robots like her for theme parks, care facilities, education, and more. Uh, and also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the story, my nightmares. Yeah. That is exactly what this, she is terrifying. We want to make them for daycare and education and the <laughs> ultimate subjugation of all humans. Yeah. If I was one of those programmers, though, I would totally have put that in as a prank. I know, I'm sure. That's why I'm like, somebody probably put that in as a joke. But or what there if was it's some... not a joke? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Listen, guys, <laughs> Sophia's coming for you, and there's nothing you can do What to have stop we learned it. today, Ashley? Fear and no more truth. Fear everything, trust nothing. <laughs> these, are, these are the things we've learned today. Not what, a good day. What would you like to talk about on Thursday show? I really want to talk about the face mapping technology because okay. I, I that I really do think the ramifications of that are very serious. Very serious. Pretty pretty unreal. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, let's talk about face mapping. If you guys want to get in on that conversation, or if you want to just send me your nightmares <laughs> that you have tonight after Sophia, please tweet at us using the hashtag #HeyTD. Yeah, if you shout at us using that hashtag on the Twitters, we'll incorporate what you say into our show on Thursday. It's so fun for everybody. That's very true. <laughs> All right, guys, let's check out our phone talker for the day. Today's phone talker for the day is Adam, who shot this gorgeous watercolor painting-esque photograph with his Galaxy S5. You're right. It doesn't look like a, a photograph. He writes, hey, Ashley and Jeff, this is a shot I took on my Galaxy S5 at Mount Pisgah? That sounds right. With my wife. I have bad knees, so I can't... Uh, hike much anymore, so I wanted to commemorate this trip with a picture. I was surprised with the outcome, and I would love if you shared it on the show. Oh, we love sharing it on the show. It does. It looks like a watercolor painting. It looks like a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> That's how it does. Happy, happy little clouds. Happy little clouds. You got yeah. happy little trees, brambles. That looks like brambles. Also, Adam, uh, I have bad knees too, so you're in good company. Yeah. Or maybe you're in terrible company. I don't know. <laughs> However, you think of us. Uh, if you guys want to send in your phone photography, email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Yeah, make sure you tell us what device you took the picture on. Give us permission to use it on the show. And give us a little story. We love hearing why you took that picture. You can also find us all over the shop on social media and the internet at large. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fact meeting science fiction like a delicious sciencey sandwich. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>